And here's that little song, Sparrow. Came in from the Confederate Jasmine. It has a beautiful song. I've recorded it. In the background right now, you can hear Tohees. This is the brown thrasher that I named Archie. And I thought, I'll get a recording of his beautiful song. And so I'm adding it to this video clip. Here comes a Carolina chickadee to snack on that delicious suet cake. And after the titmouse feeds for a while, the male downy shows back up. To be replaced by a blue jay. It seems like um, in bird feeding patterns, the bigger birds have the advantage. Doesn't want to share the suet, <laughs> so it jumps right on it. <laughs> And it fed for another four minutes after that. So, I've been trying to move the feeder around to keep the squirrels out and document all the birds that like to come to my platform suet feeder. And there's a grackle. It was the first time I've seen it and caught it on video. I named him Jughead. And there he goes. Edit. And there's a downy woodpecker. Looks like a male. If it's a red spot, it's a male. And I learned that that little guy is a pretty domineering dude. And there's the red-bellied woodpecker, male. And maybe a titmouse on the other feeder in the background. And the mockingbirds are waiting in the wing. Oh, and a cardinal. And there are a couple of chickadees. And today I learned that juvenile mockingbirds have spots on their chests, very much like brown thrashers. And of course, catbirds, mockingbirds, and thrashers are all in the same family, which explains a lot about their songs.
Now here we have the downy woodpecker again. I've seen the pair feeding a juvenile before. There's a male cardinal. And all this to try and catch those rascally squirrels and figure out how they're getting into that feeder. When those little turds get into the feeder, they make a mess, they knock it down. I've had to put that feeder back together three times now. I'm getting a little bit tired of doing that. Here's one of the Blue Jays. I named them Popeye and Olive Oil. They're hard to tell apart, but watching them feed is great because they store things in their crops and they can pick up peanuts. I think one time I counted 12 seeds going into the crop of one of my Blue Jays. That's pretty handy talent right there. And here comes one of those little turds. This time, I caught one of them in the act. All right, so here's the setup. Dummy. Now there's the third one. This is from the kitchen window. Just look at the mess they've made. And I have a hard time starting the blower. So generally I just sweep. Now I got four. Five. And here's how it ends, captured by the GoPro. Oof. That's right. We don't stop.